Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about blotted lips. So, blotted lips are nothing new really. It's kind of a technique that makeup artists have been using for a while. Um, but now it's just kind of a, it's become like a trend. And um, a lot of companies have been putting out these sort of blotted lip type products, which are cool and I mean smart on the company's part to kind of play off this trend but as someone who already has 8,000 lip products I don't necessarily need to like buy these new things and I you know I don't really want to spend my money on something like that type of product especially since like you know, you don't know how long this trend is really going to last. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you how you can kind of get that effect with the lipsticks you already have in your collection. So, first of all, if you don't know what a blotted lip is, it's like a lipstick except softer. It's like, you know, like if you were to wear a lipstick for a long day, um, or it's, it's kind of like the LaCroix of lipsticks, you know, it's just like, it's, it's a suggestion of a lipstick. Speaking of LaCroix... <laughs> not sponsored. Coconut ones are the best ones, don't come for me. Anyways, so, a blotted lip can kind of range from anything from that really, like, blurred like editorial vibe lip to something more like what I have on right now where it's still kind of a little bit structured um, it's still there's still some pigment to it but it's just a little bit softer um, and it's not quite so defined as a regular lipstick or a liquid lipstick especially so I'm going to show you a couple different ways how you can get these blotted lip type looks so the first one, the more sort of editorial, blurred look, um, you want to use a lipstick that is a little bit more hydrating and has almost like a slick type formula. This is one of my favorites. This is the NYX Butter Lipstick. This one is in the shade Ripe Berry. And I'll show you what I mean by like slick formula. Not the best swatch, but you can see how it's kind of like it shears itself out a little bit. It's very nourishing, very like moisturizing lipstick. So something like this is the best to get that sort of blurred, almost stain type effect. The best way to go about that is to place a little bit on the center of your lips and just sort of blur it out and drag it out with your fingers. Um, and this is really going to give you that blurred, very editorial stain vibe and then you can go back in with that lipstick and add a little bit more color in places you think need it um, and just again blur it out a little bit. Now the second blotted lip type look is going to be more like something I have on today and that is a little bit more structured, a little bit closer to how a traditional lipstick would look but it's more mattified and it's just softer, it's not quite so defined. Um, so for that, you want to use a cream lipstick that is a little bit more long wearing. I wouldn't say to use a matte lipstick because I think that's going to be too dry and you're not really going to be able to get that full blotted effect. But if you use something with more of a satin finish that you know is a little bit more long wearing and that does dry down eventually, that's going to be your best bet for this type of look. So some of my favorites are the number no. 7 Moisture Drench lipsticks. These say Moisture Drench, but they're not nearly as like hydrating, you know, cr like slick feeling as the NYX Butter um, lipsticks. These are more like a true satin finish cream lipstick. Another great option is the, um, the ColourPop Lippy Sticks. These are one of my favorite formulas. Again, kind of a true cream lipstick. They do have different finish, finish, oh my gosh. They do have different finishes, um, but I find that, like, after you put them on, they all kind of look similar. They all kind of have that, um, vibe where, like, you put it on and it looks creamy, but then after a while it does dry down and is a little bit more matte. And the matte ones, like, dry down a quick, a little bit faster, but I find they still work for this type of look. So these are both great affordable options for, um, this type of look, but, you know, really any, like, traditional lipstick is going to work for this. So for this, you just want to kind of apply your lipstick as normal. 
um, and just kind of follow the shape of your lips, you know, do what you would normally do applying a traditional lipstick um, and clean it up if you're like me and are terrible at applying traditional lipsticks. So once you're satisfied with your lip shape, you're going to want to take a piece of tissue. Um, I just use toilet paper, that worked best for me. Um, and you just want to kind of make a granny shape with your lips, like you want to, like you're doing grandma shark basically, but with your mouth. And you're just going to pull your lips back and then um, bite down basically, not hard, obviously don't bite yourself, but you're just going to press your lips into that tissue and hold it there for a few seconds. And then when you release, um, you can see that all the shine is gone from the lipsticks and it just kind of looks a little bit more blurred and stained. If you want it to look even softer, you can go in a second time with the same um, technique with the tissue and just you can keep doing that really till it gets to the point where you, you, you like the look of it. And then I just like to go afterwards and just kind of pat it in and kind of blur it out a little bit more with my finger. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for a blotted lip. So yeah, this is probably going to be a short video. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and that you can still be trendy and get on the blotted lip train um, without having to go out and spend money on specific products for it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please, please, please. And hit subscribe if you want to see more content from me. I upload about once a week, usually. And then if you want to get notified when I upload, you can turn on the notification bell thing and hit all notifications because I think that's what you're supposed to, that's what I'm supposed to say, right? That That's the mantra. Did I get it right? Okay. But anyways, yeah, if you if you want to know what I upload, you can also just check my Instagram stories I post on there every time I upload a new video. And I think that is it. Please uh, subscribe again and I will I will see you guys next week. Okay. <laughs>